So yesterday, the woman beating racist sexual predator who has spent a lifetime demeaning and belittling anyone his power, wealth, and privilege allowed him to, declared martial law in Canada. The black-faced racist who spends his holidays pissing on the graves of indigenous children that his father helped to bury invoked the Emergency Measures Act to crush the dangerous uprising of the peasant class in their fortified bouncy castles. Justin Trudeau, the tyrant king of Canada, backed by the rich, ruling liberal elite who've elevated him to the level of king by way of his name and bloodline. This tyrant king has, for the last two years of his reign of terror, imprisoned his subjects, laid waste to their lands, and burned their villages. All his life, he has wronged people, and they have capitulated out of fear. And now, for the first time, there's people who won't submit to your highness's tyranny, his bullying. So they're labeled as dangerous insurrectionists because suddenly these people from whom you've taken so much are standing up and saying no more. And now it's a threat to your pocketbook and the pocketbooks of your billionaire buddies. So the peasants that stand up to your passport system of class and privilege and your anti-science, anti-freedom tyranny are labeled as enemies of the crown. Traitors that threaten your kingdom, not because they're violent or racist or misogynistic or anti-science, but because they just won't goddamn submit. So you deputize the protectors of the people as your king's guard to round up the disloyal, imprison them, smash their equipment, threaten to seize the assets of anyone who may dare even support them. People who have done more for their fellow countrymen in three weeks than you have in your entire pathetic life. You destroyed their businesses, slaughtered their friends and families, and now you're going after what's left by declaring them terrorists because for the first time in your fucking life, someone had the audacity to say no to you. An irredeemable tyrant with an unquenchable thirst for power, a petulant child with a crown and an army at his disposal. The King Joffrey of Canada, and without question the most dangerous threat to our democracy. I only take solace in the fact that when your reign does come to an end, the history books will ensure that when people speak your name, it will be stated with the same disdain and disgust as the names Stalin, Pol Pot, and Adolf Hitler.